So hey guys, as the year comes to close, more and more information about the most anticipated device to criticize the OnePlus 11 is surfacing online. As we all know, OnePlus is introducing a new plan this year, launching first only the standard models and the pro models in the future. So Qualcomm has launched the most powerful CPU, the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 and OnePlus has officially posted that the 11 series will use this CPU. Not only that, but other key details have also been leaked this time. The interesting thing about that post is that it even says the company will be the first to have a phone with the 8 Gen 2 CPU. It remains to be seen whether it is true and if any other phones with the processor will be unveiled before the OnePlus 11. So according to reports, the company will unveil the OnePlus 11 device before the year is out. If that is the case, the launch will probably be limited to China for a while but it may also mean that the next generation of OnePlus phones will arrive sooner than ever before. Despite not having the name Pro, I believe that this will be the successor of the OnePlus 10 Pro based on the previously leaked features. All in all, over the coming months, this might become extremely confusing. The partnership between OnePlus and Qualcomm for flagship devices will continue, that is for sure. Simply for the knowledge, the Qualcomm processor like Apple's A16 Bionic is made on 4nm manufacturing node by TSMC. It is 25% better than the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 while also being up to 45% more battery efficient. Seeing this kind of performance live will be quite interesting. According to Yogesh Brar, the OnePlus 11 will come in 8GB and 12GB of RAM variants with each 128GB and 256GB of storage, which is quite usual for modern Android flagships. The three cameras in the camera system, a 50 megapixel sensor with IMX890 sensor, a 48 megapixel ultra wide camera and an unknown 32 megapixel telephoto will once again carry the tempting hazel blade branding. There could be a stunning 32 megapixel selfie camera in front, quite an amazing lens. Finally, everything will be powered by a 5000 milliampere battery which will accept up to 100 watt wire charging and up to 50 watt wireless charging which should be fast enough to top up the battery in less than 30 minutes and it is quite fast. The OnePlus 11 will unsurprisingly be running Android 13 with the company's Oxygen OS 13 on deck. So what are your thoughts on this OnePlus 11? Let me know in the comment section below. With that said, subscribe if you like and I will see you in the next one.